guys, OMC here. And yeah, I'm gonna start doing this now on my channel. Like, I think this is gonna be the vibe of my channel now, just cartoon and movie reviews, uh, specifically of the animation genre. So, let's get started with the top eight best 2019 animated movies. Yeah, it seemed like this year, it seemed like it was definitely a sequel year for 2019, for many movies. Well, some other good and some bad. There were a few originals, but, eh, let's get started with this. Number 8. The Secret Life of Pets Tale. I know a lot of you that disagree with me on this one. And believe me, I can understand why. I mean, at some point, the ball is going to be made, but it does get points for things like, well, my name is Yeah, I don't really have much to say about it or how good it was. Like, I just think it was okay. And yeah, on to number seven. Number seven, Wonder Park. Now, this movie was very interesting because this is probably the first movie that doesn't have a credited director. But this movie was about a girl whose name I cannot remember for some reason. That like that has depression issues when her mom went away because she was sick for a few years and she stopped doing her form of imagination. Later, you know, she went to camp and she went back to people to be part of her brain. And she created as a kid, only to realize that she's shutting down. And she has to get on the run again. Pretty good movie. But what is the movie that the director actually got fired from? I don't know why, but I just know that it's really the director. And number six, the two. Now I don't get you. I got it. You don't like Frozen. Well, personally, I agree. If you like the first one, or I heard the second one coming out, great. And so, number six, I saw this movie and personally, like. It does have its flaws, but it's really good. Like, I thought Into the Woods would become the next Let It Go. But there, it does have its flaws. Like, for some things, like, for some things, I can't whistle the songs. Like, it's really hard to, and the lyrics are very complicated. But the plot itself was really good. Unlike Frozen, which had some filler in it, and it gave Anna and Elsa more time to be sisters, which I like then. Olaf, really good character. And on to number five. Number five, the comic trailer Dragon 3, The Hidden World. Now this movie, like, was really interesting. It was definitely good compared to the first two. I really do like the first two, but just everything with The Hidden World, and everything that happened in that movie is just is great. It was probably my favorite out of the three. It was the best one. That's pretty much all I have to say. It was that one. Now, number four. The Angry Bird Movie 2. Yeah, a lot of you, I know, you're probably going to be with me on this, because the first one was bad. Of course, you're going to use, but honestly, I really liked the first one. But, like, I was like, come on, we didn't need an Angry Birds Movie 2, whatever. Me out theaters, but I decided to watch it and I ended up liking it more than the first one. It was really good. Like the plot with the whole two islands, bird island, pig island, and then the frozen balls of that villain. I'm sorry that I forget her name. Like, I'm sorry I'm forgetting a lot of names here, but like I just forget the villain thing, but like, you know. Yeah, the 
Story film, but it was still really good. Three has to be my favorite one. But four, outstanding phenomenon. I also like the good old plush rush joke, and like the ending was just sad. It actually almost made me tear up, not gonna lie. But because you know, Woody went with Bo even left the game. This is probably the ending for the film. Oh, we're getting, we're getting Toy Story 5. I doubt it. And now, number two, The Lego Movie 2. Yes, when I heard there was a, another Lego movie coming out, when I saw the trailer, I was hyped in the theater. I was dying to see it. It's about a new space invader from a planet of. <laughs> Sorry, it's about the, the dude going back. The song that got stuck inside my head actually finished and stuck inside my head. It hasn't been now, but like after a few months it got out of my head. I also like the I am totally not evil song. Like they played this really well. And the lesson here is don't sacrifice the things you love just to see what you And number one, Steven Universe the movie. This movie was about a new gem named Spinal who Dying the man in the garden, and then she was about to get revenge. She practically rejuvenates her whole campus in the garden, and it's up to Steven to try to get her pieces back. Steven is also affected by this, but Steven learns something in the movie that they're always never as happy as him. In case you're wondering, other friends were my favorite song. Let me know what else you want to watch and hit that like button and subscribe down below. And yeah, bye guys.